Hello Internet, Raptor 7717 here, and this is my review of this pen. This is the Manuscript Dodec Fountain Pen. I want to set that to the side for a second because I'm going to bring in the packaging. Uh, it comes in a simple blister pack. It says Manuscript Dodec there. Uh, smooth writing tip. It's got two cartridges. Uh, lightweight design. Uh, finger grip. Finger grips aid? Hmm. Oh, finger grips aid pen control. Comma in the wrong place. Uh, comes the yeah, cartridge. Got a butterfly nib, which is kind of interesting. Got a grip. Um, uh, made in the EU, and just got some instructions and uh, other stuff. Truly the best choice. That might be a lie, but we'll see. Could possibly not be the best. Uh, Manuscript is a company from England that makes, well, mostly calligraphy pens. This is their everyday writing pen. If you didn't see there, it was $4, which I believe comes out to about uh, £2.50 or three pounds, somewhere like that. It's probably not three pounds, I think it's two pounds fifty. Anyway, starting with the cap, there's nothing on the top. The clip says England, and I believe it also says England on the other side. Well, it does, but it's reversed, so you can't read it. Anyway, you get the cap, which has these facets, which is why it's called the dodec, because there are 12 of them, and dodec means two and 10. And that's the same for the barrel. The clip is nothing spectacular, it actually kind of feels like it would snap, but it does hold things on, and it does um, work fairly easily. It's easy to remove things, easy to put things in. Probably not the best to hold things on in the first place, though. You have these 12-faceted barrel, and you have this little end cap that looks like you could post on it nicely, but you actually can't, and I'll show you why in a second. The pen unscrews, which is interesting for a pen this cheap. And you have the section, which is uh, kind of rough. They call it a comfort grip. Um, it's all right because it's fairly blunt plastic, but it does kind of look aggressive, and it could possibly be, I don't know, a bit uncomfortable uh, to some people. The threads are virtually non-existent. They're actually probably less intrusive than this stuff is. And the rest of the section is just kind of tapering down to the nib which is unspectacular, it has no markings on it whatsoever. We no markings, completely flat. But it does have this thing that they call a butterfly nib, which is the tipping material. Isn't really a ball that's welded on most fountain pens. It's sort of just a little piece of metal that comes down from the rest of the nib. It's kind of molded into the nib. If you can see that, here I will grab another pen and show you. There's an old pen, old Schaefer. You can kind of see the bottle, ball, bottle, ball of usually iridium that is welded onto the tip there. That's how most fountain pens work. This one does not have that ball, which, eh doesn't really seem to impair anything, but it'll probably wear down faster than most of the fountain pens. But hey, it's cheap. Posting, if I can ever get it right. It does kind of post and it does kind of push in, uh, but it's not the most secure and it's not the easiest, say that I can't get it off, not the easiest to fit on there. Uh, I wouldn't do it. It's a bit long. It's not particularly heavy because it's all plastic. It just kind of makes it seem unwieldy even if it's not. The pen comes with two cartridges. There's one that's in there. Ooh, ah. And there's another one in the barrel so that you can have a spare. Do not put this in this way because it will get stuck and you will have to thwap to get it out. But you can put the other cartridge in there so you have a spare. Uh, it did take me a while to get this pen working. Uh, so it is kind of a difficult pen to um, start, I guess. You do have to kind of throw it um, to get ink to come out of it, uh, which I would recommend doing in a more controlled area. It doesn't like to come out itself on its own, and it doesn't like to be coaxed out with, say, water or something, because then it will run dry. I don't know why. Anyway, I guess now we need a writing sample. Okay, I'm going to go writing with the manuscript dodec. I don't particularly like to post this pen. 
So we'll just start. Mm. Menu script dodec. The pen is a fine. At least that's what it says. And the ink is a cartridge that came with the pen. Uh, it's just a standard blue. I don't know if it's made by manuscript or who it is actually made by. So, you know, I wish my camera would stop going and focusing like that. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see. We can write the quick jumps over the Why Z's always look kind of a bit like Y's. I'm just bad at that. Anyway, hold on one moment. Well, that was a bit jump cutty. Anyway, you can kind of see it is a pretty fine nib. Uh, let's see what happens when you just write fast. I'm not even trying here. The feed does keep up. I'm just scribbling now. Screw it. Yeah, the feed keeps up pretty well. Anyway, with uh, some fast writing, I don't see any skipping or anything. Uh, let's see if it has a bit of line variation, which I believe it does. There's no pressure, and then some pressure. You don't get a whole lot of line variation, and it doesn't like to... Um... to give it out, really. Yeah, there's a little bit, but not too much. None. You certainly don't want to be uh, trying to flex this pen. It's not really meant for it. It's a really cheap pen, so you're not going to get uh, much line variation out of it. Uh, but it does flow very well. It flows pretty fast. Keeps up. Um, it isn't the wettest flowing pen in the world, but it is a fine nib. So, it's alright, I would say. It performs fairly well, and it is pretty cheap. It's a pretty good beginner fountain pen. Um, you can't, as far as I know, work on the nib and feed in any way. You can probably pull it out. They're probably friction fit at this price, but I wouldn't try that. And it seems fairly robust. I've used it for a while, and it hasn't... Uh, cracked or anything like that. It, the clip kind of feels a little bit flimsy, but it feels like a very good starter fountain pen if that is what you are looking for. If it's not what you're looking for, then you can... I don't know why you would be looking in a $5 price range. Anyway, that's all I have, I think. Bye. I did just notice this tiny little crack you can barely see because the plastic is so thin but it will crack there it is right there so yes be careful with the pen it will crack <laughs>